If you're interested in selling high quality coloring pages to sell on Amazon KDP and other websites, then check out this video. This video will include an easy step-by-step -step guide on researching your coloring book, then the coloring book creation using an AI software, creating your interior and cover, and then finally uploading to Amazon KDP. When creating a book, I always like to do the initial research on Amazon rather than using any paid tools. So the free tools that I do like to use and that help a lot, the first is AMZ Suggestion Expander. It's just going to give you a lot more keywords when you're using the search bar for more ideas. The second tool is by Self Publishing Titans and it's a BSR and keyword research tool. So it's going to give you a top extension bar with a lot of useful information summarizing things and then a single product uh, information bar as well and this is going to provide you with useful information on each specific book now we're going to use the search bar for our research as it shows us what people are searching for so if we type in coloring books you can see all the keywords that you're provided with so the benefit of the amz expander tool is that it's going to give you keywords before so you can see the grid highlighted in red and there's another grid highlighted in green for keywords after so you're getting so much more keywords and you can just take a look and select what sounds interesting so we'll go with the coloring books for adults relaxation now you can see that it's got over 30,000 results which is quite competitive but the benefit of the self-publishing titans bsr and keyword seo tool is that it summarizes all the key information that you would need to know. So for example, it gives you a keyword niche score. Anything with a keyword niche score of 60 or above is ideal. Then it also summarizes the total results of all the book, the bestsellers rank, the reviews, and the prices of all the books. Now this is quite competitive and the results are too many. So we do again want to niche down again using the search bar. So we can just take a look at some of the keywords that it's suggesting and and you can click on any that may interest you so in this instance we're going to go with owls and you can already see the number of results have significantly reduced to only 5,000. so we're competing with a lot less books 22 books on this page and 12 of these are independently published so there is some chance of if your book is good then it appearing on the first page then we can see that the average bsr is over 300,000. do don't get hung up on that number too much too many people focus on finding the perfect a low bsr BSR when a collection of books with a BSR of 300,000 is still going to make you money. Now we can take a look at the books we'll be competing with. So just scrolling down, the first two are sponsored and not related to this niche. And this book here is a large print our coloring book and if we take a look at the box of information above it provided by self-publishing titans we can see that it has a bsr 500,000 and it was created in august 2022 and i do like the colorful cover the next book has a bsr of 226,000 i'm not that too impressed by the cover the book after has an impressive bsr of 36,000 very low and we'll quickly take a look at another book with a BSR of over a million. But it does have a lot of reviews, so I can imagine that does well around Christmas time. Followed by another book with a BSR of over 280,000, released in 2015. So there's not too many recent books within this niche. And there is a massive demand, but just understand that if you were to create a book, then... You're not going to get a huge amount of sales, but if you can find five or 10 similar niches, then you can still make good money. Let's just take a look inside one of these coloring books to understand the process of creating one of these. So we can see on the first page, we have this book belongs to followed by a color testing page. And then we've got the owl image. The next page is then blank followed by an owl image. And then the next page is blank. And the reason why the second page is always blank is because Amazon's pages are quite thin and you don't want the coloring to leak on to the next page. Now to create our coloring pages, we're going to be using Midjourney and Midjourney is a text to image AI art generator that will blow your mind. And to access Midjourney, you need to sign up to Discord. And this is just an online instant messaging platform where you can build communities. And once you've signed up to, then you can sign in. I'll show you some of the images I've created using Midjourney. And you can see the first three are related to the beach and the seaside. Then I've tried to do a few coloring pages just based on portraits then after that i've tried a few mandala coloring pages which have come out really good as well and then following that i've also been trying to create animal coloring pages for kids 
and I'm really impressed by the quality and the speed in which Midjourney is able to produce these images. All you need to do is simply type in a prompt. For this one, I put coloring page for kids, small cute lion, clean line art, no background. And with a few minor adjustments, it created this and I'll show you how to do so. Once you've joined the official Mid Journey Discord, it can look quite confusing with a lot of different things going on. But in order to start creating our own image, we need to go to one of the newbie rooms. So you can choose any of the rooms in order to start creating your own image. If you want further information on getting started, there's also a section on getting started there. You've also got an FAQ section, and it's important that you know the rules in order to get started with Mid Journey. So so if you are a free user, you get 25 prompts. However, if you are a free user, you do only have a non-commercial license and you can click the link and you can scroll down to read further about that a little bit more. And as you can see here, non-commercial means not primary intended or directed towards commercial advantage or monetary compensation. If you would like to purchase a subscription for commercial use, you need to click on trial support, then press forward slash subscribe and click if the option comes up, then just give it a moment and click open subscription page and then you'll be taken to where you'll see a few of the subscription options. So I've gone with the $10 a month as I've used up the free version, but you are limited to 200 generations each month. I will go up to the $30 a month as there's a lot more benefits, but just be aware whatever you create is public. And if you want to have your own private bot, then it is an extra $25 on top each month. Now to start creating your designs, if you're on the free plan, then you need to come down to one of the newcomer rooms and then start typing. However, you'll see that it can be quite chaotic in these rooms as all the newcomers will be creating their designs in there. Um, but if you are paying for the basic subscription, then you will get your own personal bot, which I prefer using. Now, in order to start creating our designs, we need to make sure the settings are right. So you can just type in forward slash settings and then enter and then it'll come up with where you can adjust your settings. So the first setting I like to have it on is MJ version four, which is mid journey version for the most up to date and advanced version. Then Niji mode is just an anime version of mid journey. If you want to try that. Now there are different types of quality settings and these just influence the quality of image that you get back. So with the free or $10 subscription, I would only recommend the base quality as you won't use so much of your credits up, but the $30 subscription is unlimited so you can go with the high quality. In terms of style, this just gives mid journey the ability to stick closer to your prompt and I usually leave it on style or medium. You've got three different options to upscale. So beta upscale is more detailed. Light upscaled is a lot less detailed and I usually have it on regular upscale. Public mode would allow anyone to see what you're creating while private mode, you have to pay an extra $25. So fast mode creates images much faster but uses a lot more capacity as you only have a limited amount of fast hours. And then relax mode takes a lot longer but you won't use as much capacity. So if you are using mid journey a lot, then I'd recommend relax mode. But if you are using it just every once in a while then you can stick with fast mode but test out different settings and don't be afraid to find the best ones for you now to start creating your design just go to the bottom and put in forward slash imagine then you're going to have prompt come up and then you just need to start thinking about who your coloring book is going to be for what design you're going to have and what style you're going to have so for this we already know that we're going to create a coloring book for adults based on the research we've done on amazon that's going to be an owl we want clean line art and we're going to have mandala design then I usually like to create my coloring books size 8.5 by 11. So in order to have it fit that size, you're going to need to do aspect ratio two by three. Then you can just click enter and it usually takes about a minute to create the design. But to save time, I have sped it up and we can just see the detail and high quality these coloring pages are and that all these designs were created in under a minute. It's absolutely outstanding. If we take a look at the largest owl, you can see by its claws that it's got too many. So it doesn't always produce the perfect designs and it can sometimes show a few odd things, but AI will only get better. So there's a few things that we can do with these designs and one is to upscale and this is just to enlarge the image without any loss in quality. So each image is numbered. So you've got one, two, 
three and four. You've got the option to rerun the prompt if you're not happy with the designs that it's come out with. Then you've also got the option for variation. So if there's any particular design that you do like, then you can create four more variations of that design. So in this instance, we're going to go with variation three, and this will create four variations of design number three. Now our four variations have been completed, then we can just click on them and compare. Now, although all these designs are highly detailed, they are quite similar and I don't want my coloring pages to be quite boring. So another feature that can use to add your own variation is called remix and you can find this in the settings and just make sure you put a forward slash before this in order to access the settings and make sure you click remix mode and this amazing setting actually uses a text box that will allow you to adjust your variation based on your prompt. So this time when we click on variation one, you'll see this text box come up and it will allow us to type some words. So I've chosen mandala background as I'm happy with the design, but I just want something a bit more creative and it's gonna be interesting to color in. And once these have uploaded, you can just click on the image to see the designs and I'm a lot more pleased with these. We can see that it has included the mandala design on the background flowers and on the owl also. I think they look a lot more interesting rather than the previous variations that we created before. If you take a look at image three, you can see that the feathers have gone everywhere and that sometimes does happen with AI as we talked about before. It's not perfect, but it will get better. Now, once we know that we are happy with images one, two and four we can upscale them in order to create enlarged versions for our coloring book it can take a bit longer than a minute to upscale but once this is done then we can can scroll through the images and make sure that we're happy with everything that we see you can click on them and take a look through each picture individually i'm just going to use three examples for this video but just make sure that you add a lot more coloring pages using the steps I've shown in this video. In order to save this as a PNG, you just need to click web and then yep. And then you'll be shown your image again and you just need to click save with prompt. And as soon as you click that, then it will save it as a PNG, which you can upload to any software to start creating your coloring book. Now you can click the home option and then upscale and it's gonna show you your other upscaled designs and you just click the three dots and then you can click save image again and then you will also have your PNG files for your coloring book. So just before starting your interior for your coloring book, you might just wanna make sure that the image quality is good enough and we can see here that we've got 1024 by 1536 and this is more than good enough for the 8.5 by 11 coloring book that we're going to create and just make sure that you save that and download it as a PNG. Now in order to create your coloring book just use a software that you're most familiar with. I always suggest Canva as it's really easy and free for anybody to use. Um, so just make sure that we get our sizes right. So we're going 8.5 by 11 and all you need to do is click create design to start creating your coloring book just use the first page as a this belongs to and then second page will be blank third page then you can start adding your designs in and this just follows the exact same structure as the owl coloring book we looked at earlier on in the video so just make sure that you have your design followed by a blank page to prevent bleed through and then you just repeat that format throughout the coloring book now if you want to create a similar design all you have to do is go to the elements and type in mandala into the search bar and then click enter and then you'll be shown designs avoid any with the crown if you don't have the canva pro subscription and then you can go to the text in order to find a similar text the good thing is canva shows complementary text styles and then in order to just create the line then all you can do is go to lines and shapes and you can find the line there now to add a blank page all you need to do is click in the right hand corner to add a, another page and to start adding your coloring pages that you created on mid journey you just need to upload them first of all then align it to the page properly and add a border around it so that customers will not color in outside of the boundaries 
So to give you a quick demonstration of how I did this, just make sure you go to uploads, click on the image you want to use. Then you can double click on the image in order to crop any bits out. So I just want to crop out those areas that you're not able to color in. And once you've done that, just click the background and then you can align it to the pink purple outline that will keep it within the bleed. Then in order to create the border, you can go to elements and then you can just simply type in square outline or you can just find an outline in the lines and shapes section. But as I've already used a previous outline in the other coloring page, I'll just copy and paste that onto this. Then all you need to do is keep on repeating the process. I advise that you have at least 20 pages within coloring book and this will end up being over 40 pages in total due to the blank pages as well. Now to download it, make sure you go to share, click download, make sure that the file type is a PDF print and that you also use CMYK best for professional printing. Click that and if if you are using a free account, you will have to try Canva Pro free for 30 days, but you can cancel at any time. Now to get started with your cover and get the correct dimensions, make sure you go to KDP Amazon.com cover calculator and you can put in your book information and then it's going to give you the dimensions that you need to create your cover. And then you can go to whatever software that you like to use in order to create covers. In this instance, we're using Canva and you can put those dimensions in and it's going to create your cover page for you. Now for our cover design, we can go back to mid journey and you can see the prompt that I've used here. I've taken out coloring page for adults and I've just put in our multicolor sitting on branch because I wanted it to replicate the coloring page style. And then I upscaled a design I was happy with. And then in order to download it, you just click web and then you can go down, make sure you're happy with everything, check the resolution and then make sure you click save. And then you can go back to your Canva page and make sure you upload it. And once it's uploaded, all you need to do is click on it and then make sure that you've got it on one side of the page. Make sure it's always on the right hand side and then you just make sure that it fits the page properly. Then the next part is for the back page. We want it to be the exact same color as the front page. So all we need to do is go to the colors. Then there's a color picker tool. Then you just hover over that color and then it's going to make the background exactly the same color. So the back page is going to be identical to the front page. Now what we want to do is add some text. So find an interesting text that will be look great on the cover and that is up to you but go through Amazon and take a look at other fonts that have been used and it is a little bit difficult to see the font so what you can do is add a square to the background in order to make it stand out a little bit more so we're just going to quickly change that to black and then you can just put that behind the title in order to make it stand out a little bit more and then just make sure that we get the measurements right and just bring that in a little bit. Another thing you can do if maybe you don't like that too much is just fade it into the background a little bit so we can still see our art design in the background and I think that has a nice effect. Now we want to make the back page look a bit more interesting. You can add coloring pages from your interior, just download them as a PNG and then place them on your back cover just so that the customer gets an idea of what the interior pages look like and just make sure that everything is aligned properly. Then you might want to add some text and you don't really need to go overboard with this. You can just simply explain what is contained within the book and align it properly. Then you just want to make sure that you give a name to your design at the top, just in case you've got a lot of files you want to make it easy to find. And then you can download it by clicking share, download, uh, make sure that it's a PDF print. Uh, again, ideally CMYK and download. We're on to the final stage now and all this includes is uploading it to Amazon and you're going to need to go to kdpamazon.com and then you'll come to this page and you just click the create button and make sure that it's a paperback. Then you're going to need to put in your book title and subtitle. Just make sure the keywords are related to what you want to rank for on Amazon. Then you're going to put in your 
author name and just make sure that is something unique. Then the description, you can use chat GPT. You can click the I own the copyrights. Then you need to fill in the keyword section next and just make sure they're all keywords related then categories and just make sure that you choose a category related to the book. Um, it's not a low content book and you can read the description of what a low content book is there, just repeated content or does it include a large print font um, and then there's no adult content. Then you just click save and continue and that's the first page done. Now you can click to get a free ISBN, but if you want to publish to other marketplaces, you will need your own ISBN. And I always have the interior black and white. We already know the size is 8.5 by 11. It's going to be no bleed and I prefer my coloring page covers glossy. Then just upload the interior page. And then after that, you need to upload the cover. And once those have been uploaded, you can click launch previewer and then you can actually view the book. It's showing us the cover so just make sure everything fits within the red lines and there's no issues detected which is fantastic then we can just take a look through the interior pages and just make sure everything's fine which it is and i'm happy with everything so then we can just go down below and click approve so we're happy with everything and then we can take a look at the printing costs and then click save and continue then we're on to the final page where we're just setting the price of the book i always like to price my books competitively so i've just gone with 6.99 and then you can go to expanded distribution just to make a bit more as well from bulk orders then the rest of the prices in the other marketplaces i just like to round that to 99 to just get a little bit more then you can just click publish your paperback book if you're happy with everything. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch another video. I know this one was a bit longer, but if you've got any questions, ask them in the comments and you can also check out how to make short stories as well in this video.